This video was sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you could make it because in today's episode, we are continuing our series on how to grow dragon fruit. And today I'm gonna to share with you how to build a permanent trellis for growing dragon fruit. I want you to take the concepts and the ideas that I use in this video and use it as a framework for when you have to build your trellis. The reason we're gonna be building ours like this today is because where I live about six months out of the year, about 180 days, we get a tremendous amount of rain. And I couldn't use uh, four by fours, I couldn't use two by fours, because in just a couple years, those would rot. And the last thing you want is a full grown dragon fruit that's incredibly heavy to be sitting on a trellis that needs to be replaced. So we needed something a little more permanent. We're gonna do a concrete four by four post, and we've got some construction material that's gonna be absolutely perfect for the top of our trellis. It's gonna allow our dragon fruit to weave through the top and then inevitably hang over with proper support. At the end of this video, we'll talk a little bit more about what the finished product looks like. Let's get started. Let's take a minute and talk about today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for people like you and me. Skillshare is ad free, so you can stay in the zone while learning your new skill. Premium classes are being launched constantly, so there's always something new to discover. And the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, Portuguese, French, and German. All right, so when I'm not in the kitchen cooking like a madman or making sausages, prosciuttos, or different forms of charcuterie, I'm in the backyard gardening. I love to garden. So I enrolled in a class that Skillshare offers called Happy House Plants. Caring for your plants, learn with the sill by Chris Satchel. Now I tend to do a lot of outdoor gardening. So what I loved about this class was that Chris focused on indoor plants and gave some really cool tips on pruning, watering, and repotting. So what do you say? Isn't it about time you level up your skills? If you're one of the first thousand people who click on the link in the description box below, you're gonna get one month free trial of premium Skillshare. So after this video, don't hesitate, click on that link, go through the thousands of classes that Skillshare has to offer and unlock your potential. Let's get back to this trellis build as we take a peek in the backyard and figure out what we're gonna do with those pesky rabbits. Vamos a ver cómo lo hacemos así.
entraba el proceso de armado que eso va para YouTube. Sí. All right, everybody, there we go. This is our dragon fruit trellis. It's completely built. What we're basically looking at is a four by four concrete post reinforced with rebar. Our support structure is bolted onto the top, uh, which is probably overkill, but that is not going anywhere. What I love about this design is that it's really gonna hold up under the harsh conditions of our rainy season. And like I said in the beginning, just use this as a framework based off of where you live. I mean, you may not need to go metal with PVC. You may be able to use two by fours and a four by four post, but the dragon fruit is gonna grow up through these holes. They're gonna get tipped right here at the top. And then a bunch of branches are gonna start to fold over. And once those branches fold over, it's kind of hold them in place. This is schedule 40 half inch PVC pipe. And because this is only a two foot segment these are all two foot segments so basically that's 24 inches by 24 inches uh, there's not a lot of extra space for this to bow and warp i did go schedule 40 just to kind of reinforce it i probably wouldn't go any thinner as it could get a little brittle under the sun and eventually break but this should hold up absolutely beautifully and that's really what you want you don't want a support structure for your dragon fruit that will break or buckle under the pressure so this is definitely going to hold up we can get all the rain we want during our rainy season and uh, this is not going to rust this is not going to rot absolutely perfect the cement post is roughly six and a half feet tall and i've got two feet buried under the ground so this is roughly four and a half feet out of the ground now you can make yours five feet out of the ground or you can make yours three feet out of the ground uh, but anywhere between you know three to five feet most commonly four feet out of the ground is what you'll see uh, the thing you don't want is to make your post too tall because it might be a little difficult if you have to go out and pollinate your dragon fruit oh wow i don't know if you can see that it's already starting to rain every single day it's unbelievable so let's go ahead and wrap this video up if you have any questions about how to build a permanent dragon fruit trellis let me know in the next dragon fruit trellis build i'm going to show you how we build one for potted planters in the event that you need to make yours mobile if you like this video or got anything out of it a thumbs up is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to follow me along this epic journey on how to grow dragon fruit. Thanks for being here. See you next week. Bye-bye.